And then at 10-15, we got Cincinnati, who's 2-2. Two two. Trying to BYU, who's 3-1. Cincinnati barely favored in this matchup by one point. This game's on ESPN if you wanted to watch it. Emory Jones for the Bearcats has gone 77 to 124, thrown for 970 yards, seven touchdowns to five interceptions. Corey Kiner on the ground has had 57 carries for 328 yards and two touchdowns. And Xavier Henderson has had 23 catches for 340 yards and a touchdown. Kaden Slovis for the Cougs has gone 85 to 141, thrown for 1,017 yards, eight touchdowns, three interceptions. LJ Martins had 56 carries for 223 yards and two touchdowns. And Isaac Rex has had 17 catches for 260 yards and a touchdown. BYU leads the series all-time 2-0. They've played two teams have played twice. In 2015 and 2016, closest game was 14 points between the two of these teams. BYU destroyed Cincinnati both times, really. Okay, so I think what's kind of... In, both these teams are coming off rough losses, right? Cincinnati's coming off a game where if they had any semblance of an offense, they, they could have upset Oklahoma, right? They held Oklahoma, the, that explosive offense, the defense held them to 20 points, which is... Just a massive feat, an insanely impressive feat for the Bearcats defense. And the offense had many opportunities to get points on the board, and they did not capitalize, right? Just not even mentioning the fact that they missed like a 30-yard field goal, just shanked it um, in a game that, that could have made that game a lot closer. But not only that, but you had many opportunities inside opposition territory to put points on the board, and you didn't whether it was a turnover, whether it was turnover on downs, uh, whether it was a missed field goal, you just didn't put points on the board when you needed to. Combine that with BYU. BYU was leading at halftime over Kansas, but Kansas just came out and punched them straight in the face. To be fair to BYU, Kansas looks like a really good football team this year. Um, and honestly, they gave Kansas a fight from the majority of that game. Um, I feel bad, a little bit bad for BYU because... They really could have had it if they didn't make certain mistakes down the stretch, right? The pick six to start the half is brutal. When you're up 17-14 and suddenly you're down 21-17 extremely early into the second half, that's a rough way to start a half, and it did just didn't get better from there. Um, at least you made it an 11-point game near the end there. Um, but if you're BYU, cut down on some of the mistakes. I think what's interesting here is BYU's offense isn't bad. Like, this is a solid BYU offense. Caden Slovis... Again, he, is, he might be on his, like, 70th team, but he's actually playing pretty good football for the BYU Cougars right now. Uh, same with Cincinnati. Uh, the defense is playing phenomenally well. I think the offense versus defense is going to be a really interesting matchup. I, I kind of think BYU's defense had a rough game against Kansas. I think they ba bounced back here. Uh, I think they give Emory Jones and the Cincinnati Bearcats offense a lot of trouble. Give me BYU to win and pull off the upset at home.